Throughout Earth's geological history, 99% of all species that have ever lived have gone extinct. In this time, there have been many cataclysmic events, including five mass extinctions, known as the Big Five. While many factors contributed to these devastating events, drastic, rapid changes in climate and temperature are ultimately what pushed life to the edge. Today, we will take a journey through time and take a look at the impact of temperature through these extinctions. We begin our journey through time some 443 million years ago in the end Ordovician period. This diversifying world was defined by teeming oceans and land masses concentrated near the South Pole. The end Ordovician mass extinction marked a change into an ice house world which wiped out 85% of all living species in two brief pulses. The first pulse was characterized by the onset of extreme glaciation and advancing ice sheets during the Hernantian Age, caused by a decrease in atmospheric CO2. As a result, sea surface temperatures dropped by a drastic 11 degrees Celsius, and global sea levels fell by up to 100 meters. Only life adapted for cold climates, such as the Hernantian fauna, flourished in these conditions. However, glaciers retreated as quickly as they came, causing an immediate warming of sea surface temperatures and inducing a second extinction pulse as conditions became unsuitable to life, which thrived in the cold oceans. Life gradually recovered over the next 70 million years until we entered the cooling greenhouse world of the late Devonian. This complicated extinction event was preceded by the first successful forests and dominance of land plants which in tandem with nuanced environmental factors ultimately spelled destruction for 70 to 80 percent of species at the time. Abundant plant life removed atmospheric CO2, leading to global cooling. Sea surface temperatures dropped by around 10 degrees Celsius, ice sheets briefly grew, and sea levels fell. At the same time, excess decaying plant material from land contributed to algal blooms, which depleted the oxygen supply in the oceans. Just over 100 million years later, cataclysmic hothouse conditions toppled Permian ecosystems. Land during the Permian was mainly concentrated into a single supercontinent called Pangaea, leaving a vast expanse of a giant superocean called Panthalassa. The Permian-Triassic mass extinction is set apart from the other events, as upwards of 90% of all living species were lost. Magmatism in the Siberian region combined with widespread volcanism may have ignited regional coal beds and saturated the atmosphere with greenhouse gases. Sea surface temperatures in the poorly circulated anoxic ocean rose to around 40 degrees Celsius in the tropics, and temperatures in extensive inland regions rose by around 10 degrees Celsius, creating the most extreme hothouse conditions of the past 500 million years. Around 50 million years on from the worst of the Big Five extinction events, the Earth was rocked by another event of devastating scale that pushed life to its limits. The end Triassic coincided with the breakup of the largely arid Pangaea and another warming-induced extinction in which 80% of all living species were killed. Submarine volcanoes released carbon dioxide and destabilized submarine reservoirs of methane hydrate releasing huge quantities of methane into the atmosphere. This deadly combination led to sea surface temperature increases of 5 degrees Celsius and land temperature increases of as much as 10 degrees Celsius. Desertification of inland regions made conditions unsuitable for terrestrial life, while ocean acidification destroyed marine ecosystems. Truly, nowhere on Earth was safe from these extreme conditions. Approximately 130 million years after the events of the End Triassic, the most well-known extinction took place. Dinosaurs dominated land in the wake of the Triassic-Jurassic extinction. However, their reign came to an abrupt end around 66 million years ago at the Cretaceous-Paleogene boundary, when 75% of all species, including the non-avian dinosaurs, were eradicated. The main cause of this event was a large asteroid collision that instantly ejected enough dust and sulfate aerosols into the atmosphere to plunge the world into darkness. 
atmospheric cooling caused sea surface temperatures to plummet to around 12 degrees Celsius. Without sunlight, plant life was decimated, and soon the repercussions were felt up the food chain. Marine life also experienced environmental upset as acid rain changed the chemistry of the oceans. Rapid, massive cooling with no time for adaptation, and ecosystems collapsed, exemplifying how immediate these changes can be. Life is stubborn and resilient, but it is also delicate. In the wake of each of these extinctions, life found new ways to thrive, but in the past, as it is today, adaptation requires time. Global temperatures plummeted during the end Ordovician and Cretaceous Paleogene events, soared to extreme hothouse conditions in the Permian Triassic, and fluctuated throughout the Devonian and Triassic Jurassic mass extinctions. Whether it be glaciation, volcanism, asteroid impacts, or more gradual global changes, we have seen on this brief journey through time how sensitive life is to temperature. Now, in the midst of what may be the sixth mass extinction and a time of rising global temperatures, we must take the opportunity to learn from this past and adapt our own impact on the planet before it is too late.